Hello, Procrast Creators. So I am just coming to you quickly because I had a comment today on one of my videos and it asked about um, printing a face on a t-shirt. So um, I thought I'd just do that really quickly because that's a very simple process. So I am going to Put a face on a t-shirt. Hey, you can do it and it could be for, um, vote for whoever or, um, team whoever or rest in peace. You know, it could be any of those things that you want to do that for, but it is a simple process to do a print and cut t-shirt. So that is what we're going to do today. So let's get started. So the first step, as always, is to actually get into a canvas. So hit new projects and then you are going to hit upload video. You're going to hit upload um, again. You're going to hit browse. You're going to find the picture on the computer that you want to use for your t-shirt. Um, I was looking for something different, couldn't find it. So for the sake of this video, I am using my face. Yay. So find, locate the video that you want, hit open. Um, it will then take, put it in design space where it's going to ask you whether it's simple, moderately complex or complex. I hit all three just so you can see the difference. When I hit simple, as you can see, it distorted the face. Um, a little bit the lighting on it, everything changed moderately complex didn't really change it that much but when I hit complex it left my picture as is so then I went ahead and hit continue here you could have taken off the background but I didn't do that because I wanted this to be a quick video so um, it's I'm selecting the print and cut um, image and I'm hitting save and on that screen you also could have changed the title if you wanted to and added tags um, but I didn't need that for this particular video so again I left the video as is and at the bottom underneath the picture it says print and cut image save as a print and cut image so that is exactly what we did um, and exactly what you need to do when you are doing this for yourself and I don't know why it's taking so long, but there we go. So it um, uploaded the video. So I'm going, I hit upload the video into Design Space. Um, and as you can see right now, I am sizing it. I will say I cut out of the video. I added some words over on the side that I would have had to cut with vinyl. But again, that's not what we're here for. So I wanted to make this just a quick how to add that picture in but you can definitely hit text add um, text in there add other images if you want um, but right now we're just adding the image as you can see I put that's my jam which I end up not printing the second mat um, so there it is on the mat um, and here was me making the words mirror but like I said didn't end up doing that so um, after I, I saw it on the mat the way that I needed it to be, I hit continue and then there it says send to printer. So um, I sent the image to the printer so that it could print it because that's what we needed to do, right? So um, again, my system seemed to have taken a little bit of time. But I'm finally <laughs> actually sending it to the printer and as you can see it gives you that pop-up screen where you can select your printer um, I left the bleed on even though for this photo I don't know if I really needed it but I like to leave my bleed on anyway and then um, I hit the button so that it could go to printer here is the type of um, vinyl that I use the the heat printable heat transfer vinyl um, I put a link to that below here is my printer printing off that picture um, my printer moves a lot slower than that but I made this as quick as possible by hitting the fast mode so um, anyways 
it is printing out that image. Oh, that girl is cute. So um, there you have it. It is as simple as that. After it um, prints your image, you see number one says print it. Number two, you're going to select your brino. So browse all materials. Go to um, vinyl. After you go to all categories, go to vinyl. Um, after you go to vinyl, you can select, um, I think it says printable vinyl. So you want to select that printable vinyl and then hit continue. Um, and that is all to it when it comes to this portion. Um, you don't need any additional pressure. So as you can see, I got an error and I got an error because I put the paper on my mat wrong. So I want you guys to see that I put my paper going across instead of going vertically down. So I had to turn my paper around. And once I turned my paper around, um, it was able to locate, um, the image on the Cricut. So as you can see at the beginning of the printing process, it's always using those lights to locate those lines. And when I did it the first time, because I had put it on there going diagonal instead of vertical, it could not find the line. So it, that's why I got that error. So just something to be aware of. You need to make sure whatever way you see it on the screen, that's the way your paper is on your mat. Um, so from there, it's a simple weeding process. You want to take that image off. Be careful if you're using the little weeding tool because you don't want to put a hole in your image um, when you're pulling it off. So just want to be careful with that. Make sure you're pulling the paper away from the um, image and not the image away from the paper. So then I just took my um, Cricut Easy Press. Um, I have the 9x9 original version. I did 305 um, for 20 seconds. Um, I had to do it in two spots because it was a little bit bigger than the 9x9. Um, so i show you that really quickly. Again, this is a heat press, so you want to make sure that you're pressing down and giving um, that vinyl some pressure. So once you do that, I mean, you have done, you have done the thing. It's done. You know, you've, you've done what you set out to do. So, um, just cooling it off a little bit. Cause of course it does get hot, but there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you all the next time.